Hello everyone! Welcome back to this game! When we last left off, we made it to the center of Lisa's sanctuary and was about to retrieve the amulet that would allow us to hopefully cure Harrison of his poultry predicament. But we found the ghost of Sarah's mom and um, it, it, seems, it, it seems she has been influenced by the darkness. Considering she's a holy priestess, that's kind of bad. Dust quietly says, No, not even you, priestess, will lay your blood-stained hands on this girl. I promised I would protect her with my very life, and I will not fail in keeping that promise, even if it means I must fight her own mother. And we got his back. I don't understand what has happened to the woman who was no doubt worthy of being praised as an angel of mercy by so many Alvinians, but I cannot believe that we are really hearing you say these things to your own daughter. You really intend to kill the very same person whom you gave life to in the first place? We won't stand by and allow this crime to take place. Mother, please, stop this. I... I cannot bear to lose you to the darkness completely. Please don't go that way, Mother. To the abyss with you, daughter. This is good not to you, my sweet child. Forever. Lisa utters a piercing scream of rage as the poor heroes raise their arms to literally shield themselves from being thrown over backward by the force of the magical power radiating from her. Oh man, this is it! Get ready everyone! Yeah! Die, wretched daughter! Mother! Okay, Dragon Sprite, Shiva, Boss. Uh, that was a switch I was not expecting. But okay, um, we're fighting Lisa Winters. How appropriate that her monster sprite is Shiva. So then, this is unfortunate. Okay, Lisa Winters has 1,800 HP. That is a lot. First things first, gonna get an early heal in just in case. And then, Sarah, you have this most amazing spell that we have not actually used yet. It is protection. Start using it. And that is why we are using it. Ooh, you're gonna wanna increase some attack strength there. So, boost your own attack. What are you weak to, by the way? Maybe that? And Elf and Breeze to further raise attacks. So, this spell here, as you have seen, it is a reflex spell. And a dang good one. For you see, an RPG Maker 1 on the first PlayStation, reflect is absolutely broken. It lasts the entire battle and cannot be dispelled. And there is no way of changing it. You cannot make it so it can be dispelled. You cannot put a time limit on it. That is how it is programmed and that is how it is. So ideally, you would not ever use it in your game. But of course it is being used in this game. 
because Sarah is a very temporary party member. She is going to be leaving after this fight. Very good spell to have. And also the key to ensuring that we win this fight. Uh, because that. That is why. Uh, Sarah's not going to be able to use Reflect there. Use a regular attack. I guess Sarah is going to go ahead and revive. Actually, back up. Sarah tends to go first, right? Hopefully. I guess we're about to find out. I don't know if that healing spell will be enough. <laughs> yep, reflects for everyone. Oh, the turn order was wrong. Well... Oh yeah, reflect by the way doesn't reflect healing spells, so that's kind of nice. Hopefully you can get this in before... Okay, good. So, this should mean that this fight is now impossible to lose. Regardless, probably best to keep our health up just in case she has a physical attack. So, do a little bit of this. And I think you raise your attack enough. Eh, maybe not though. Actually, perhaps you should use some Cyclones. And do you have enough for an attack here? You got Revive, you got Cure All, so no. Well, in that case, do Clover. Oof, yep, she's got physical attacks! And it hits like a truck. So, this fight could still be lost if I am not healing. So, healing, definitely healing. In fact, your healing is, um, not ideal. Uh, well, you go ahead and use it anyway. And Sarah, we were gonna have you do a holy attack, but instead, um, heal us. Good news is, Lisa tends to focus on using magic. And we should be good now. Let's see what your regular attack does real quick. Alisa, go ahead and another Duke Clover. Yeah, like I said, Reflect cannot be dispelled. That is so broken. Oh wow, Dusk. Y your, your attack is not ideal here. Use some Lightning. And I guess use Cyclone. And now we can do some Holy. Ah, you got a healing spell? Really? You are only delaying the inevitable. Stop delaying the inevitable. Oh boy, there's one of those attacks.
Go ahead and just heal yourself. And another Duke Clover. Not sure how far into this fight we are. You know, it's kind of weird that you have Dispel. Lantis and Sarah's Knight know how broken this spell actually is. How, how broken Reflect is. So having Dispel is kind of pointless. Although, I would definitely prefer you using Dispel instead of that. Uh... How about going ahead and boosting your attack a little bit more, Uri? Use Dew Clover on Sarah. Cyclone... You can't really heal yet, can you? Just do that. Who? Okay, then. You know what? Use another Duke Clover. Sarah's gonna spend one turn healing and then move back on that is unfortunate Please don't miss out on experience dusk You've done that once before I would prefer you do not do that again Okay, Lynn is guaranteed to go last Sixty HP is not enough. Do we have something that does more? Nope. Well, I guess use it anyway. Right, that's a thing. Okay, back up. Because Dus was going to use a Dew Clover, and he didn't really get that chance. Use the L. Might as well see what your revised spell looks like. Okay. Uh, Sarah, you do not have enough MP to heal everybody yet, do you? In that case, hopefully Dusk is able to heal himself. And you do not have enough uh, MP to... ...reestablish Dusk's Reflect. I'm pretty sure Reflect does wear out if you die. Okay, what are you able to do right now? You do have enough for a holy spell. Okay, here's what we're gonna do. Do Clover for Sarah. And holy. Thankfully, that holy was not on dusk. Now... Sarah... will hopefully get protection in before that happens. Darn it! Okay, you're gonna have to not die. Please don't die now. Do not die. Thank you for not dying. Okay. 
Yeah, go ahead and use that. And Angel Feather. Scorn? That's a new one. Would have been nice if that killed you. Oh, and Sarah still doesn't have enough for Protect. Darn it! Um... This is annoying. I want to ensure that Dusk has... enough health that he can... get some experience from this fight. Back up. What am I doing on this turn again? Another Duke Clover for Sarah. Heal yourself. Do that for funsies. And start with holy. Oh, thank goodness. Dust gets experience. That would be a lot of experience to miss out on. And we got a glum zamber. Ah, uh, yeah. S Sarah, my daughter, where are you? Co can't see. It's so d dark. Oh my goodness, mother! Be at peace, mother. I'm here now. My daughter, I tried to kill you? Mother, please try not to speak. It's all right now. Your delicate heart is finally freed of that terrible evil. I... I forgive you. I need you to stay with me. Here, for as long as you possibly can. I still need you, dearest mother. Sarah, how is it possible that you still say that? You need me. How can I be forgiven so easily? Cough. So much pain. Has my arrogance brought upon everyone who ever trusted, admired me? And now I even resorted to slaying my own sweet, innocent daughter. Mother, please don't. Please don't let your soul fade to ash now. If you cannot accept my forg forgiveness, then please at least ask for hers. Serena is waiting to welcome you back home with outstretched arms. I just know that she is. If you would but run to her. Ah, my innocent little daughter. I am so proud of you. You have become such a strong young woman. You stood so bravely in the face of certain death and never faltered. So big is your heart that you tried this much to bring me back to the light. Even as I threatened to tear you to pieces and caused you to tremble in fear. I... I'm so sorry, Sarah, but if I can be forgiven by you, then perhaps I won't have to be thrown away to oblivion after all. You must go, Mother? Yes, but do not worry. If Serenina will be so gracious to welcome me, then... Your mother will be smiling fondly down upon you as she watches over you from the heavens. Sarah is sniffling back her tears. Then I promise to try not to cry, mother. Keyword is try. I will continue to fight for our precious Alvinia with all of my heart, even when... 
I may be afraid. Please continue to be the brave little girl I've always known you to be, my sweet Sarah. I will happily await the day when you and I reunite. Hurry, Lynn, Dusk, children of another world, please watch out for Sarah and my darling husband. Please save Alvinia and the world you yourselves came from. Please succeed where I have failed. The goddess and all of her children need you. I must go now, Sarah. Goodbye, my sweet daughter, and thank you for everything. You've received the Seraph Pendant. Huzzah! Nay, Mother. Thank you. At last, wiping her tears and regaining control of herself, the Kalinkin Princess lovingly takes the Seraph Pendant in hand and follows her new friends back through the now empty and completely silent and peaceful sanctuary, glad to have finally cleansed its sacred interior of the evil that had violated it. Still, having been able to save her mother from death and open the way up to heaven for her, Sarah happily turns the magical pendant over to the more capable hands of her father in order to finish the errand of mercy that she and the others had gone through so much hardship to complete in the first place, and that was to break the unholy curse over their friend Harrison. He, of course, was overjoyed to see the three heroes and lone heroine return, tired and wounded but still alive, to the winter's home in the early afternoon. Being rather well on in age and a bit out of practice, it took Lyle a few tries to recite the spell correctly, having inadvertently turned the fourth of Elvinia's Heroes of Light uh, into a cat at one point. <laughs> I would love to see that. Aww. But soon the terrible curse was overcome by the power of Lisa's love and destroyed, as the two Elvinian and four Earthling humans happily celebrated their having survived yet another day against the devil's machinations, a beautiful but sightless and lonely-looking woman, looking very much like some kind of angel, fans her strange white wings through the chilly air as she blindly gropes her way towards the city in the snow, trying to follow the sound of Sarah's and her friend's exultant voices.